My final guest tonight is one of the most unique comedians in the country. Lou Sanders is a comedian, writer and actor. In 2018, at the Edinburgh Fringe, she won the Comedian's Choice Award for her show Shane Pig, catapulting her into the comedy zeitgeist. Since then, she's been a TV regular, co-hosting Unforgivable and winning Taskmaster. She also hosts the hilarious podcast Cuddle Club and next year takes her new show on the road, One Word, Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lou Sanders! Thank you very much for coming on the show. I've always wanted to sit on one of these paper chairs. They're weirdly comfy, aren't they? Yeah, but they would go up in flames should we have an accident. That is a very cynical way of looking at it. <laughs> and the interview would have to go very badly. How but... can I make a statement? Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, how's things? Yeah, very well, thank you. You know we just fist bumped like that yeah. for, because of COVID, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, but I'd already accosted him in the hall and gave him a big hug that he did not want. <laughs> that was, that was I think all. you're the first person I've cuddled um, as an adult. Um, but... <laughs> I live the podcast. <laughs> yeah, but it was... Um, yeah, you, you sort of lent straight in. It was aggressive. But we should chat about the podcast, cos your podcast is called The Cuddle Club. Yeah. And it's all about kind of relationships, isn't it? Yeah. You're a touchy-feely, hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm a person? pervert and you... a menace. <laughs> it's another way of phrasing it. <laughs> and is it, is it sort of fact... Cos it's mostly comics that you talk to, and is it about all their kind of... Yeah, it is, cos I think comics have got interesting backstories. A lot of them are a, a little bit... Um... Uh, damaged. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So I sort of get in there, but in a fun way. Yeah. You know, why didn't your dad love you? That sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but I keep it light as well. But it is. Yeah. But presumably that is a recurrer because sort of mm. most comics have like like you say, there's there's weirdness going on. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got you've got a, a new tour out that's called One Word Wow. Yeah. Which is a great name. Thank you. What's the tour about? Uh, one word. <laughs> it's um, what is it about? It's about uh, what I did in lockdown, uh, I, I, I sort of had a midlife crisis and started roller skating. Yeah, I've seen you. Me and everyone you. else. Yeah. And then I also haven't had a relationship in seven years. Uh, and then I started going out with someone that I met at the skate park. Skater life. Really? Yeah. I don't want to get too personal, but, you know, skater parks seem to be frequented by young people. And I'm... Yeah, there is a bit of an age difference, uh, but what? it is legal. Is it? Right. <laughs> so, so... Is that the first thing you checked? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't say. My I... first question to him was, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> so then he knew I fancied him, because I was like, how old are you? And then he said 26, and my heart sank, because I really was looking for 30, 33, sort of, and upwards. Yeah. To 65. <laughs> no, but I thought he was older, because he had lines around his eyes, but that was just a snowboarding season he'd been on the year before. <laughs> so I've seen quite a lot of clips of you... Um, on Instagram, skateboard and uh, roller skating. Robert. Who's the pervert now? <laughs> but it's sort of <laughs> exactly. But it's like it's kind of weirdly hypnotic, and it, and I like uh, you, you. I don't know this. You know when you want somebody to do well, Aww. and you, I, either you never put the clips up of you doing them badly, but it, whenever I see you, you do like. Hip. Stop. I do do, I do pick the ones up on my Instagram story, so the, I put like a load of bales the other day where I was trying to do something and it just looks so ridiculous. <laughs> but I either put ones where I look really good or really stupid. Yeah. Um, it's pointless in between. But I think it's that thing, because I love watching people do anything that they love where they're in the moment and they're yeah. passionate about it. And I think it's that thing where you, like if someone's in it, I don't know. It is quite hypnotic, isn't it? Yeah, but I suppose... Sort of, watch other people, not me. I'm not saying I'm hypnotic. I'm just no. <laughs> like watching someone that's in... But I really like the fact that you say that. There is something really nice about seeing somebody lost in their love. It's like... I don't want this to sound disparaging, but it's like your auntie doing, like, yeah. a handstand. I know. Do you know what I mean? I know. You go, I didn't know she could do that, you know? <laughs> yeah. and I, do you know what I mean? There's something really sweet about it. So, presuming this happened during COVID, did you have yeah. one day going, I need to roller skate? I think I missed the adrenaline from gigs. Yes. Did you get that? So, I loved having the time off for the first six, seven months. And I was like, oh, this is great. You know, because your body really relaxes. Mm. And, then, and then I missed the adrenaline, and I think that's when I thought I'll go to skate parks. So, the age difference for your fella, how's that working out? <laughs> are, you, uh, are you trying to talk youth? <laughs> Um, no, I think it's fine. He's he's a very old. He's now 27 as well. Yeah. And he's very old for his age. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. When we go away, he does a spreadsheet. 
you know, it's that sort of dad energy. Oh, yeah. Know. I like the fact that he's into roller skating, but timetables. No, he's into skateboarding. Oh, skating. Yeah. Right. But, you know, I think it's fine. Now and again, you slip into old patterns. You know, like I say, you know, you really should ask before you get down from the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. Uh, so when I first met this guy, I was pretending that it wasn't a thing because of the age difference. I was like, I don't even care. And I was listening to these songs, like, about players. And I was like, yeah, I'm probably a player. And then... Um, we split up for a day and I cried in the skate shop. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> and presumably everyone's like, shit, that, that mum must have lost her kid. <laughs> and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, well... Well... Kind, kind of, yeah. So I was pretending I wasn't bothered and everything, but then I was giving out very mixed messages cos I was saying, let's go horse riding. And then, um... You know horses are quite good with energy. Like there's something called equine therapy where they get they read you through the horse. It could be horse shit. But um, <laughs> but anyway, I haven't done it. Whoa, but... whoa, 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 let's back up mm. there. There's a, they read you through the horse. Yeah, so like you get into a I don't know, field. And, and, and somebody, I mean, I'm not an expert. <laughs> well, and somebody tells you what you're feeling through yeah, looking or, or, at the horse. Or how you carry yourself, because then the horse... Because the horse is very perceptible to your energy. So if you go in scared, the horse will be like, oh, this person doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. I, I mean, they haven't got all the details, but they're very sensitive creatures. Yeah. And <clears throat> so I thought I'm going to energetically connect with this horse, if that's not too <laughs> relatable. <laughs> and... <laughs> And so I said to the guy that I was with, I'm going to, I'm energetically connecting to this horse. And he said, well, <laughs> I think it's worked because he's got a boner. <laughs> <laughs> I said, my work is done for life. So it's nice to know your powers are strong, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining a future where uh, one of the X-Men turns to you <laughs> and says, show me your skill. And you're like, like that. <laughs> just near a pony like that. And you go, ding! Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So, um, so when does the tour start? Uh, March the 3rd. March the 3rd. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the fantastic Lou Saunders! <laughs>